I got this eight pointer this past December in the Pine Barrens. I paid a guy to bleach the skull, but I figured I'd try mounting it myself. So on this project, I use a free palette and some DIY stain and I mount this buck. Boom. Thanks to Pinterest and YouTube, I made DIY stains using vinegar, water, and steel wool. First one is three parts water to one part vinegar. Next, equal parts water and vinegar. Third one is three parts vinegar, one part water, and the jar has only vinegar with steel wool. First step in this project is to do a real crappy job at breaking down this pallet, making sure I get quite frustrated, which results in a few broken boards that I gotta glue back together. I ripped the whole boards down on the table saw to about an inch and a half wide. I then sort through the pile to see what I'm working with. I move, set up, and give power to the miter saw station. Then cut the rough ends off the ripped boards. I decide on 20 inches for the length, so I set up a stop block and I continue cutting. Using cut t-shirts, I strain the steel wool out of the mixtures and pour them back in their respective containers. I then get to brushing on the stains. I did a few boards for each mixture, and as you can see, the wood is changing color pretty quick. This is immediately after coating everything and it's all still wet. And this is after everything is completely dried. I mixed the different colors and chose the ones I liked best. The final width is approximately 10 and a quarter inches at 20 inches long. I glued all the boards to some thin plywood I had laying around the shop. I also glued the sides of each board together. Once the glue is dried, I shoot 5 8 inch brads through the plywood and into the pallet wood. I'll be using the hole drilled in the back of the skull to hold it to the boards with a toggle bolt. I chose to mount a little higher on the board, just in case I want to add a 4x6 picture on it down the road. I'm going to use the hardware made for picture frames to hang this on the wall.
After a little finagling, I attach the head to the boards and hand tighten the bolt. Assembled, it's not that heavy, so a nail in the drywall should do the job just fine. My European mount came out better than I expected, and with its permanent home above my safe, I call this project complete. This is New Jersey Mr. E saying, thanks for watching.